In sections of solid, we have seen there are two places. Uh, before that, we have seen what is solid. So that many times we have revised also. So that quickly we will see. So at the beginning only, what is solid we have seen and its types. So if you see the syllabus, so simple syllabus solids which are cut uh, by the cutting or property of that cutting plane is it will be inclined to one of the reference plane and perpendicular to other so this one already we have seen so different uh, what is the point what is line plane solid and how it is classified this also we have seen how different solids are classified so main part uh, from this chapter is what after classification of solid uh, solids are mainly uh, cut by two types of plane which are they so we have seen AIP and AIP. AIP and AVP. Only two types of planes are there. What is AIP? So I have uh, told you to concentrate on incline the world. So incline means it is inclined to HP. And vertical plane, it will remain uh, perpendicular to HP. So auxiliary inclined plane. In front view, it will show its uh, line view or edge view. On the other hand, AVP. That plane will show its line view or edge view in top view. So this one is most important thing. So actually here, a picturically it is shown. So how it looks, so it is shown here. How it looks, uh, actually it is shown here, okay. So after that, we have solved one problem. So actually in this chapter, uh, procedure, for a procedure, whatever procedure we have seen. So first you have to see which solid is given. After that, uh, by which plane it is cut. And location of that plane is important, okay. So, uh, description of solid, you have to see which solid is given. Plane, you have to see, and whatever we have seen in uh, uh, properties of line, perpendicular, uh, parallel, intersecting, and skew. Some points we have to mark, nothing else. So once you will mark the point, you will get cut section. So, if at all you will get, uh, you will mark the cutting plane parallel to the uh, cutting plane uh, reference line, then you will get through shape. Because if particular plane is parallel, then it will show its true shape. And if it is perpendicular, it will show its edge view or line view. That we have seen already. So regarding this, okay. So one of the problem we have seen one square pyramid we have cut and we have uh, found out its uh, true section, uh, true shape of the section and true section like this. The second problem also something like diamond shape we have seen yesterday. Okay. A so few more problems we will solve today so that this chapter will get complete. Let us see what it is given. So in short, AIP will show its edge view or line view in front view. And AVP will show its edge view or line view in top view. Okay, top so view. we will read quickly problem number three. Darade, roll number five. Will you read first? Darade Snehal Who will read? Can anybody read? Which type of solid is given? Hexagonal prism Your voice is not audible, rule number for you. I will read. You meet you, uh, yourself. I will read. A hexagonal prism of this uh, 40 mm and axis height 75 mm is resting on HP with two edges uh, of base perpendicular to VP. So a hexagonal prism is given. So it is resting uh, on its base in HP with two edges of the base perpendicular to VP. Like one solid is given. Okay. 
it is cut by section plane perpendicular to hp the cutting plane uh, is perpendicular to hp means in which view it will show its line view or edge view top view its top view will be line view or edge view because it is perpendicular to hp and inclined 45 degree to vp so which type of this plane perpendicular to hp and uh, inclined to vp avp 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 AVP, we are calling it as AVP. Okay, uh, passing from the center of hexagon. So it is passing from the center of hexagon. Uh, draw the sectional front view. One more hint I was given. So which sectional view we are supposed to uh, find? Draw sectional front view and true shape of section. Likewise, it is called. Okay, so which uh, sectional view is asked in this problem? Front view. So front view means that, uh, in which view? So it is cut. Opposite top to front view. view, top view. So simple. So it is very simple. So as we know, uh, so first I have to draw a hexagon in top view, whose side will be 40. So directly I will draw. So as we know that how to draw. So here I will draw. Maybe here. likewise okay so hexagon so why i heard uh, what was the condition while placing the base of the hexagon uh, on the hp what is condition is given with two edges of base perpendicular to hp huh? what condition is given two, two of its edges should be how Perpendicular, perpendicular to, to AP. Whether these two edges are perpendicular to AP? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, how many names I should give at each corner? Two. Two. Why? Because it is prism. It is prism. Okay. Then C3. C3. Then D4. Then E5. Then G. Can I see any problem? So, uh, is it necessary to join its center? No, sir. We should yeah. not join. Why? Because uh, center, we have no, to join sir. or we yeah. fix. Yes or no? No, sir. No, sir. We should not. Okay. Why? Because it is a prism. Uh, it is prism because it is prism. So now I will draw its front view. Okay. Uh, how much height is given? 75. 75. So from here, I will uh, draw a 75. Okay, then it will be like this. Maybe something like this. This will be okay. So dark. It should be dark. That's why I have drawn something like this. Okay. Uh, names also we have to give. So for top surface, let us give name as what we should, what name we have to give. One two three four five six. One two three four. Maybe like this. So which two? One and six. One dash six dash. One dash six dash. Okay, then here which two point will come here? Two dash four dash. Two dash. 
Five days. Here, which two point will come? Three days. Four days. Three days. Four days. Okay. Here, which two point will come at the base? Three days. Three days. Okay. Here, which two point will come? Three days. Three days. Three days. Three days. Three days. Three days. And here, lastly, which two point will come? So this simple solid is placed. Okay, simple solid is placed. Okay, so it is whatever it is given, it is something like this. Now, this is not our aim. What is our aim? What is our aim? We have to draw its sectional front view because it is cut by AVP. It is cut by AVP. Okay. Uh, what is the description of that cutting plane? So we have drawn hexagonal prism with base on HP, side is 40. So if at all you want, you can give here uh, dimension of it. Something like this, you can give dimension. Okay. Then, uh, from where cutting plane is passing? Huh? So it is cut by center AVP. Of center of hexagon. And what is the inclination? 45 degrees. So here, either you can draw in this way. 45 degree line in this way or 45 degree line in this way. Okay, somewhere you can draw. And then this parallel to this line, you can draw a line which will be passed through the center of the hexagon. Likewise also possible. So choice is yours. Choice is yours. Uh, how you are going to draw it. Okay, so what do you have to do? So I will draw first one vertical line, then I will draw. 45 degree. You can draw one outside line. 45 degree line. Okay. So this uh, is making angle of 40. Are you with whom? With whom it is making angle 40? Are you with VP. with VP? Then parallel to because from here it may not be possible to draw directly. That's why you have to draw outside. Then you can draw from the center something like. From the center, if at all you will extend this, if at all you will extend this, this will be the cutting plane. This will be your cutting plane. So, either you can give angle here or here, something like that. no issue. It will be something like this. Okay. So, uh, are you observing cutting plane? How it is passing? So, what is the condition? It is AVP. It should make how much angle uh, with the VP? 45. 45. Now, most important question. Now, most important question is what? How many edges it is cutting? So, how many cutting points we will get? Who will tell? For how many ages this cutting plane is cutting? So that is most important. If you understood that thing, problem is over. For this uh, hexagonal prism, total how many ages are there? Ages, ages you are understanding. 18. Very good, 18. Vertical 6, uh, top hexagon 6. Bottom hexagon six, six plus six, six, eighteen. Out of that eighteen ages, any uh, problem? There are eighteen ages to this. Any objection? How eighteen came? Eighteen ages came because bottom hexagon six ages, top hexagon six ages, and uh, joining to that. Vertical will vertical ages. 
Okay, six plus six plus six. Eighteen ages. Out of eighteen ages, this cutting plane is cutting to uh, how many point? Or how many ages it is cutting? Huh? Four. Four. In your other answer, one of the answer is four. In your other answer, sir. Huh? In your other answer, four is correct answer. How come four? So if you will see this cutting plane, I I will highlight later. So this, if you will if you will see, so some of the edges from the bottom, so bottom hexagon and top hexagon it is cutting. So four is correct answer. Uh, who will tell that edges? Who is angle? That who play edges? I have. A one, A two, A four, and A five. A one, A one is vertical edge. A one is vertical edge. How A one will? A B one two. Very good. A B one two. One two. Four A, B, five one, E D. Four five and E D. These are there because A two one, then B two two. These are the vertical edges. So would be. Are you getting? It is vertical. It is not cutting by this cutting plane, but. One to two, top, A to B, bottom. Similarly, E to D or D to E, and four to five. These four edges means how many cutting point we will get? Four. How many cutting point we will get? Shall I zoom? Four. How many cutting point we will get? Only four now. So let us give name if at all we want. So here I will give. Here there will be two points. So let us give. I I will give as P and C. I will take projection line. So at two different edges it will cut. So let us I will give bottom point and top point. So here there will be one point. Here there will be one another point. Okay. So are you getting? So on which is? Suppose here it is Q dash. And here there is P dash. P dash. So P dash point. On which edge we have taken P dash point? A B. A B. Bottom. Yes. Bottom on A B. Similarly, Q dash point. On which edge we have taken Q dash? One two. One two. One two. On the edge one two. Similarly, similarly R and S. Also, you can look at R and S. Yes. Okay. So let us take R point on which edge? Bottom edge. E D. E D. So let us take that. So I will give a name here R dash and here S yes dash. Okay. R dash and S yes dash. R dash and here there will be S yes dash. Yesterday. Now we have to join these two points, P, Q, R, S, whatever it is there. So just we have to join it, nothing else. That will be our section of the entry. Only four points are there, so that only we have to join. No such problem. So simple. So Q to S, and this we have to join. Similar. Only nothing else. Only we have to join. Okay. Now what we have to? So it is our cutting section. So that middle line will go. So this will be our cutting section. So likewise, so it will be there. So 
ओके सो दैट एज इट इज देयर इट विल बिकम डॉटेड दैट एज व्हिच विल बी देयर इट विल बिकम डॉटेड ट्राई टू इमेजिन दैट सो व्हाट एवर लाइन इज देयर नो इट विल बिकम डॉटेड व्हाई इट विल बिकम डॉटेड वी विल टेल इट विल बिकम डॉटेड इट इज समथिंग लाइक दिस सो दैट front view sectional front view will come something like okay sectional front view will come something like this the names are there that's why here i think it's not complete okay so it is sectional front view so are you able to imagine how it, it looks otherwise i will tell how it is so while drawing uh, sectional front view is one of the target or else what we want to draw again what we want to draw apart from this true shape abhi kya karna chahiye lala true shape of section so, correct so what to do about true section of section we want to find true section uh, true shape of section kya karava lagel parallel line parallel line to whom cutting plane yes sir yes sir parallel parallel line to cutting plane so i will draw parallel line to cutting plane so so here somewhere or here only i will try to draw because distance is it may not be possible to take maybe here so this i have drawn Well, suppose it is uh let us give name uh as x y already it is there so x1 y1 i will give name as a x1 y1 i will give name suppose x1 y1 here x1 y1 okay x1 and y1 now what is our aim now what will be our aim here yes, whatever cutting points are there whatever cutting points are there what we have to do regarding cutting point we have to draw projection line from which point we are supposed to draw projection line ah huh? pick your is from which point we are supposed to draw projection line from pqrs so this point how should be that projection line perpendicular perpendicular now here we uh, we are supposed to just mark the point pqrs here we are supposed to mark point pqrs okay now uh, you have to tell me which distances we should uh, take from which reference line we are supposed to mark the distance right now x1 y1 x1 y1 so one simple uh, rule i have told in chapter number 1 itself while marking the distances from one of the reference line what which thing we have to keep in your mind previous 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 Y and previous distances because there are two at the both side points are there. So previous distances uh, you can take help of compass. You can take help of either compass or I will measure and then I will mark twenty four. In my case, it may be different in different. Will mark. Okay, this will be one. Okay, so there will be two points, which will be these two points. I got two points here. Huh? Here, which will be point P? Point P, and what will be here? It will be same. Here, there will be point Q P. Here, there will be point. 
Q. Q. Okay. Similarly, I I have to mark again. Okay, so this will be again which which will okay this this and once I will get point, I have to join. From this to this, this to this, this will be my. What will be this? Exclusive. Huh? What is this? Whatever I have drawn. Pro shape of cutting. Pro shape. Pro shape. And points also I have to give points. So here there will be one point. Here there will be other point. Okay, so this will be our Q, point Q, and sorry, point Q, and this will be our point, yes, okay, and this will be our, anything likewise you can do. Something like this. Okay, so this will be our true shape. So this will be our true shape and this will be our problem. Any problem? Anything you want to ask? So by which cutting plane it is cut? AVP or AIP? AVP. It is cut by? So uh, actually in first category in this chapter, uh, in, uh, solid is cut in simple position. Solid is cut in simple position. In some of the problem, it may be cut. It may be cut in second stage because some inclinations, etc. It is given. Whatever we have seen in sections of solids. So those who are uh, not understanding for them, uh, quickly uh, I will show in 3D how it is. Huh? How is this solid is cut? Those who are not understanding because imagination is required. Okay, so I will draw here hexagon first. Okay. So this is hexagon. Plus, its height is given uh, 75. Okay, so that height I will give to this. The height is 75. Okay, so now if you see this solid, so it is something like this. Okay, so if I will give color, so it will be something in this way. So in top view, not necessary to join. It will look like hexagon. And in front view, in front view, how it was looking in front view so whether it is looking something like this if you'll see carefully this is the last in the middle we have drawn one what we have drawn one dark line in the middle of dark line can lead. it is looking like this in front view okay so after that after that what we have did it is cut it is cut by which line here i will draw one line so that line something like this Okay, then it is cut by this line. Okay. And where from where it was passing? This line was passing from where? Center. From the? First I have to see where it is center. It is not showing center.
or what I will do, I will join a string two points so that it will pass through that point. Okay. So like this, it is cut. Like this, it is cut. Okay. It is inclined to whom and by what angle? It is inclined to whom? Inclined to fifty. By so forty-five in degree. Forty-five degree with VP. Okay, so top view was something like this. So those who are not understanding, I will tell once again here. And its front view is something like this. Front view was something like this. Okay, and its top view. Now I will cut this. Now I will cut. So in front view there was a uh, dark line. Why? Because the one of the edge was coming towards us. That's why it was one of the edge. Now why that edge will not come? So let us see. It will remain something like this. Huh? So let us see how it is. Huh? So it is like this. It is cut. Something like this. In front view will look like this. Sorry, it has gone. So whether we have taken cutting plane is something like this. So yes, it is like this only. It may be a little difficult to understand. So its front view is something like this. Okay. Its front view is, will come something like this. And its top view. And once we are going to see uh, how its true shape, it will be a rectangular shape. It will be a rectangular shape. So if at all I will give some color, so that will be something like this red. Okay. So it is something like this. Are you getting? It is cut. Hexagonal prism was cut in this way, and it is looking like this. And whatever red color that I have shown, it is cut section. And why that uh, backside line came as a dotted? Because it is not possible to see from the front. That's why it is not possible to see from the front. That's why it came dotted. Are you getting? Have you understood? So likewise problems are there. Either solid will be cut in first step or some other step. In second stage also, it is possible to cut in second stage also. Okay. So it is called a two-stage problem. Shall we go next? So likewise problems are there in this. Shall we solve one more problem? Please note down this. Shall we solve one more? Yes, sir. We will solve one more problem and then we will stop. Whether it will be okay? Yes, sir. One more. Now, whatever problem we have solved right now, it is cut by AAP, AVP, both. And also, uh, only single stage problem was there. Single stage. Now, let us go to uh, two stage problem. Two stage. One of the problem we will solve, which will be a two stage problem. Uh, read here. Problem statement first. What it is given? Somebody should read. Huh? This will be the last problem from graphics. We will take opportunity to read last problem from the graphics. It will be the end of our syllabus. Huh? Who will take? I will not take anybody's name. Who will take opportunity to read the last problem from the graphics? A pentagonal prism of base 40 mm side and axis 75 mm. Long rests on ground on one of the its base side. The rectangular face containing that is edge is inclined at 60 degree to HP. A section plane perpendicular to HP and 60 degree inclined to HP. Cut the prism at its highest corner, draw sectional top view and pro shape of the section. Very good. Thank you. Final Shubham has taken opportunity. Thank you, Shubham. So pentagonal prism is given. What are its dimensions? Pentagonal prism. 
40 mm mm and 75 mm. 40 mm and 75 mm mm and and 75 75 long rest on the ground okay uh, the rectangular face containing no, on ground on one of its base side so while in solid where we have to draw then that base side towards right towards or right. towards right right towards right and in case of plane where we were drawing uh, that towards left towards left what left left so here we will start hexagon i will draw first so not hexagon pentagon what is its side 40 mm how much 40 40 okay it is something like this okay so here so and here we have to give name is it prism or it is pyramid prism 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 so at each point how many names i have to give two two one for base and another one is for top so here let us give a1 So quickly i will give name so a1 b2 b2 okay then c3 then d4 then e5 okay what is its height is given 75 mm 75 mm 75 so quickly i will draw height is height something here and from here 75 so okay so how to find center of uh, center of hexagon for pentagon how to find center of join corner and opposite side midpoint very good join corner and opposite side if at all you want to to find so you can join something like this huh? any two corner with its opposite so from here whatever line you will draw it will be center uh, what not center uh, yes center only So it will be center line. So this will be the center line for that. Okay, something like this. And then also, if at all you want to, and you can give name also. Okay, so one minute is remained. So once again, I will request to join you. Please join once again. so that we will complete this problem and our syllabus also so within one minute uh, our lecture will get over so i request once again to join okay you can take break of 5 minutes afterwards you can join <laughs>